good morning all my name is poonam jadhav working as an assistant professor in department of computer engineering aissns iit pune today we are going to see the non functional testing under the subject software engineering now what is non functional testing it is the process of checking the external functionality example we are checking whether the application is running on particular operating system or browser or not so non functional testing include recovery testing compatibility testing configuration testing integration testing inter system sorry installation testing inter system testing sanitation testing parallelization testing and globalization testing let us see each of this testing in detail now recovery testing here we are validating from abnormal situations how your application or the build is reacting or responding now it is the process of checking whether the system is able to recover from the abnormal situation to the normal situation it is also called as the reliability testing the recovery requirement are given by the customer that is the customer can give the requirement that he wants the system should recover from at that point or to start from that point next is compatibility testing it is the process of checking whether the build is compatible with the user expected platform or not user expected platform are the operating system and the browser it is called as the compatibility software compatibility testing it has two types forward compatibility testing and backward compatibility testing forward compatibility testing is if the build is correct but the operating system or the browser do not work properly then it is the forward compatibility testing backward compatibility testing if the browser is okay working fine but the build is not working properly then it is backward compatibility testing compatibility testing also includes the operating system compatibility testing and browser compatibility testing so the browser compatibility testing consists of cross browser compatibility testing and version comparison compatibility testing in cross browser compatibility testing the tester test the build on the different browsers like for firefox chrome etc and in version comparison compatibility testing it is a process where the tester test the build on different different versions of the same browser next is configuration testing configuration testing it is the hardware compatibility testing it is a process of checking whether the our application is working on different hardware or not it is the process of checking whether our application support the different different applications or not next is the installation testing installation testing it is the process of checking the installation of our build with the existing software into customer live configuration when the tester install the application it should create the shortcut on the desktop it should have the easy interface like the interface should be like that the user can navigate through the application easily disk space any application require the disk space at the time of installation the tester check whether the space available or not if there is sufficient disk space then if there is insufficient disk space then the error should be displayed that the insufficient disk space available uh, you have to check the uninstallation also means whether the application can be installed and uninstalled easily from the system or not next is the inter system testing it is a process of checking whether our application is able to share the resources with other application it is the process of checking whether our application shares the data with other applications or not this data communication happen through xml generally the banking domain companies use this kind of testing sanitation testing 
sanitation testing is a method in which we check for the extra features that are not mentioned in the customer requirement it is also called as the garbage testing it is the part of non functional testing it is used in product based as well as service based companies when we find any extra feature in the product build we log it as a defect and the developer has to eliminate that extra feature the developer can suggest that extra feature to the customer but he has to take the prior permission from the business analyst if then the customer agrees that means that extra feature customer have to pay for the money the amount for it then the tester does not log it as a defect but if the developer add the extra feature without asking the customer then the dev then the tester logs it as a defect next is parallelization te testing it is a process of checking our product with the other products it is also called as the comparison testing it is generally used in the product based companies where the two products of the same kind are checked compared with one another for the its features next is globalization testing it is the process of checking whether the application support the different different languages or not the people the companies uh, involved in a service based and the product based it is also called as the multi linguistic feature checking the globalization testing includes localization testing where, which checks whether the application support the local language like marathi hindi telugu uh, internationalization testing which checks whether the application support the official languages of the countries and global testing which checks whether the application support the english language or not whenever uh, the user change the language the language should get changed but the numbers are always displayed in english now this is how we have learned about the non functional testing i hope you have understood all the concepts properly thank you